Well, hello and welcome to Understand Men Now. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com and I'm so excited to be shooting this short video for you today. This is a Saturday edition called Jonathan from the Heart. Um, so the topic is, is he scared of his feelings? Here's scared of his feelings for you. Here's one reason why. Really quickly before we get started, if my content is new to you, check out the links below um, in the description for a variety of product or <laughs> a variety of things to get to know me a little bit better. All right, is he scared of his feelings for you? Here's one possible reason. Oh, by the way, my shirt says Willy Wonka on it, and my cup says uh, really quickly it says "Love yourself, love yourself." I'm a little disheveled today this um, morning. So, um, and these videos are shot from my balcony overlooking the ocean. So, um, or the marina. So is he scared of his feelings for you? Here's one possible reason. So a, I'd say a, per, a big percentage of men, it could be as much as 30% of men who have experienced this, have a really hard time getting close to women, getting intimate with women. And I'm not talking about sexual intimacy. I'm talking about emotional intimacy. And there's a reason, there's one possible reason why this happens. And I know some of you probably have investigated the idea, is this, is, does he have a good relationship with his mom? We've often talked about this in other videos about how the Imago, and if you're not familiar with the work of Harbell Hendricks, check out the book, Getting the Love You Want by Harbell Hendricks and Helen Hunt. Um, that we follow patterns similar to our upbringing. And so we choose relationships based on our mothers or our fathers and our experiences with them. So that's one possible reason. And one of the reasons why men have, a tr have struggles getting close happens to do with love attachment style. Love attachment style, if you're not familiar with the book Attached, check out the book Attached to understand anxious, avoidant, and secure love attachment styles. So we have our upbringing as children. We have our love attachment style that happens in childhood. But this is the one topic that, is, that never gets discussed that I want to bring up today. And it's rather personal to me. And it's the experience of being publicly shamed in grade school, publicly shamed in grade school by a female teacher, by a female teacher. I know when I was in third grade, um, I had a female teacher, and I, I'm only bringing up because most teachers, in, at least in my generation, were mostly uh, women, who absolutely shamed me in front, of the, in front of the class. And it left such a scar that, I mean, to this, it's, to this day, when I think about it, I can literally go back and viscerally think about it. And I didn't realize for a long, long time that I harbored I mean, this defined who I was, and what she said in front of the classroom was I was stupid. And so it actually defined me as believing that I am stupid. And, I, and that carried forward in my life. But I also didn't realize that this was a public shaming by a female. And it actually, for the longest time, I harbored some sort of angst over that, a chip on my shoulder over that. And it took a long time to heal from that. So I'm not the only man this experiences. Boys experience this significantly growing up. And quite frankly, girls have experienced the same thing as well by male teachers. This isn't singular to one gender. And this is one of the reasons why some people have a difficulty of getting closer to you. It's not that they don't want to. Men genuinely want to get closer. Women want to get closer to one another. We crave, our little kid inside of us craves being loved by another human being. This is why I'm such a big proponent of my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? Check out the link below. What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? As a way to expand and heal from those childhood wounds. And I certainly carried a wound for quite some time. So while I have a great relationship with my mom, there were many school teachers that shamed me and I probably resent, harbored some resentment. And I was talking to a therapist the other day, not for me, but um, for um, a client. And, and just to get some feedback on it, she said, this is a significant thing that happened that never gets talked about. And that's why I want to bring it to your attention. So what do we do in these cases? We have a lot of compassion for people. 
who struggle getting close. I mean, this is where those big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hugs are so important. I highly recommend also checking out the book, Hold Me Tight, Hold Me Tight, okay? This will help you navigate a relationship with someone who's struggling to get close. All of these books, and I recommend so many, um, Barbara DeAngelo's books, uh, How to Make Love All the Time. I'm, I'm gonna say, ladies, you are the container for the emotional uh, driving, the, the, the emotional car of the relationship, because we men struggle. But here's the thing, if we are into you, you can introduce us all these books, and if we're into you, we're gonna want to make you happy, if we're into you, okay? Now, here's the struggle. If you're afraid to speak to your guy, it's because you're not certain that he's genuinely into you. And what I mean to into you is like he's fully in. And I know this is hard because most guys are kind of one foot in, one foot out. I've shot a couple videos on that as well. But here's what I want you to do, is take charge of your relationship destiny. Be unafraid to introduce things to help your relationship grow because he can overcome this intimacy issue if you're both on the same team. And again, most guys are because they're only half into you. And I know that fucking sucks. Okay, I get it. To only be with someone who's half into you. They're half in, they're half out. My invitation for you, choose the relationship that feels right for you. And if it doesn't feel right from you, for you, then you have to decide. Is this the right, is this the path I want to take in my life? Do I want to settle or do I want to experience a juicy, delicious relationship? That's, have, does this make sense? Can you, can you let me know if I'm making sense here? Does any of this resonate with you? I want to hear, do you have a question about this? Post a comment below. I want to hear about this. I do my best to read every single one and even respond, okay? And if you'd like more of a personal touch, I definitely want you to check out my group called Midlife Love Mastery. It's my VIP group. The link is right below. I actually shoot videos just like this for the group three times a week based on the questions from the members of the group. We have a Facebook page. We have a once a month webinar. So you can have direct access to me for just a short few, a few bucks a month. <laughs> All right, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, giving myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Willy Wonka bear hug, Willy Wonka. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love, if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to somebody and give them a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use a lot more love in our lives. Thank you so much and wishing you a fabulous day. Bye-bye now.